Hello guys, I'm Adam and this is Gosu Coders. Today we're talking about Amazon Textract, which was announced at the most recent AWS reInvent conference, which I had the privilege to attend. Let's get started. Alright, so a lot of us have worked with OCR in the past. OCR is a way to actually detect characters in a document. And it's very fragile because documents get skewed, they get rotated, they get fuzzy, there's a lot of things that happen. Formats change, maybe people update the way documents are actually organized. And it's just a really brittle process. Amazon Textract is supposed to fix that for us. And I'm pretty excited about it because in the past I've worked with it on things like receipt scanning. And receipt scanning is one thing that they highlighted pretty actively with like crumpled up receipts, being able to pick up the geometry. Um, anyway, let's jump into the details right now. So here, this is right from their AWS Textract website, which is currently in preview, so you have to request to get permission. But it goes, Amazon Textract is a service that automatically extracts text and data from scanned documents. Amazon Textract goes beyond simple optical character recognition, or OCR, to also identify the contents of fields, in forms, and information stored in tables. Tables are actually a pain in the butt in OCR, so it's cool that they mention that here. Many companies today extract data from documents and forms through manual data entry that's slow and expensive, or through simple optical character recognition OCR that is very difficult to customize. Rules and workflows for each document and form often need to be hard-coded and updated with any change that actually happens on that form. If the form deviates from the rules, the output is often scrambled and unusable. Amazon Textrock overcomes these challenges by using machine learning to instantly read virtually any type of document to accurately extract text and data without the need of any manual effort or custom code. With Textrack, you can quickly automate document workflows, enabling you to process millions of document pages in hours. Once the information is captured, you can take action on it within your business applications to initiate next steps for a loan process, a loan application, or medical claims processing. Additionally, you can create smart search indexes, build automated approval workflows, and better maintain compliance with document archival rules by flagging data that may require redaction. Now let's jump into the benefits they list. Extract data quickly and accurately, and there's a write-up about that, but I won't get into that. No code or templates to maintain. Those of you have, that have worked with OCR know what I mean about templates. For example, what I've done in the past with receipts, when trying to determine if that receipt is from a particular chain of stores, I would build a template. I would look in this place for the date. I'd look in this place for the logo. And that was super hairy at times. And actually, ultimately, we ended up only being able to do a small percentage through the automated process and we had to do manual backfill. So if we can get around needing templates and the brittle nature of them, that's going to be huge. Lower document processing cost. So I'm gonna read about this one a little bit because you can do $1.50 for a thousand pages. And that is just ridiculously inexpensive. And I'm super excited about that because that's something that we should all, like every business in the entire world can jump into. So they talk about a few use cases. So one is create smart search indexes. Two is build automated documents, processing workflow, feed a document in, pull some data out, move it to the next step automatically. No manual intervention, super huge. And then finally, maintain compliance and document archives. We store data virtually all the time now. Everything that we do is ultimately full of data, like whether it's digital documents or even sometimes physical documents. Uh, to be able to feed that in, flag certain ones, make sure that we're maintaining compliance and not have to worry so much about manually getting through and checking through this is just huge. So honestly, after spending a week out at AWS reInvent, there were a lot of huge announcements and I'm going to talk more about some of the other ones that I saw. But this one excites me almost the most. And I was lucky enough to go to attend the one hour event where they kind of deep dive a little bit more into how Textract works. And I got to see some of this in process. And some of the use cases were awesome. Now this is in limited release right now. So you have to request permission to get into it. 
there is <laughs> one of the first questions somebody got up and asked was, when is this going to be GA'd? And the, the response back was, well, we just announced limited, so we'll have to see what the roadmap looks like. So when is this going to be GA'd? Honestly, I don't know. But if I was you, you have an AWS account, you've got a use case for it. I'd start looking at an Amazon text track right now. It's going to be massive if it works the way that they claim it does. And in the examples they gave, it really does. And the format you get back is phenomenal. No longer do you have to worry about indexing uh, or setting a coordinate system around and looking at a specific field. It gives you back the data to do that. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. I'll talk more about my uh, time at AWS reInvent. Leave a comment below about what your thoughts are on TechStrack and maybe even what you'd like to hear about that I experienced at AWS reInvent. Like any of, I, I covered almost everything. So if there's a topic that you're really interested in, hit me up for it. Anyway, guys, until next time, keep coding, coders.